I think that my best leadership advice is that you have to be willing to do what you're asking the people to do. And so for me as a former Globe Charter and as a coach, when they allowed me to be player or coach, player and coach for the last couple of years, I just remember moments we would get into some of these uh, cities and they weren't always as prepared for us as we needed. And it took all of us to, you know, grab the luggage and throw the luggage on the, you know, on the bus and bring it into the hotel because we didn't have the group. And just because I was a coach or, you know, a leader now, it didn't mean that I couldn't help. And so through me, it was important to show them that I'm willing to do the work, the same work that I'm asking them to do, I'm willing to do on all aspects. And, you know, even fast forward into after my time with the Globe Charters, I mean, I've, I've sold insurance, I've, you know, knocked on people's doors, I've done cold calling, I've, uh, you know, I've had an opportunity to go out and, you know, do lift, you know, pick up the people. Just a couple of years after meeting the Pope, I've had a chance to go out and listen to what the people are talking about, what are their complaints, what are their concerns, and I'm grateful you know, for these opportunities because they allow me to be able to have conversations and feel, you know, what the people are going through. I've had an opportunity to do DoorDash. I've been able to feed the people. I've been able to go to these restaurants and see what the people feel like, you know, when they're getting these orders ready for you. And I'm able to understand what it feels like to, you know, show up with a good attitude because some of the places you go back more than once and they feel good when they see you because they know you're coming in with a good attitude. So, you know, to be able to really understand the people, you got to get out there with the people and feel the people. And so for me, it's simple. Get out there and do the same work that you're asking other people to do. Well, uh, it's brilliant advice. And Herbert Lang, thank you. Um, you. What an amazing life you've had thus far. Harlem Globetrotter for 18 years. Um, you've been a TV, you are a TV personality, you're a motivational speaker, you're a philanthropist. And you do lots of motivational speaking around the world with all your world travels to help other people understand that that this whole theme of kindness is free. And let's let's go out there and make a difference. So thank you for being on the Inspiring Leadership Podcast. Thank you so much, Jonathan. And uh, before we go for closing, I just want to encourage people to go out and check out my YouTube. You can check out my TEDx talk, uh, Kindness is Free. I'm also on social media. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at DA Charter 4. Uh, if you just want to Google me and find out more, just put in Herbert Flytime Lang and reach out to me, send me a message. If I have an opportunity, I definitely will you know, send a like or a hello and appreciation of gratitude just for touching base with me. And I hope that I can inspire you. Looking forward to meeting you and your lovely wife, Jonathan. Thank you, Daniel, for making this happen. And UAE, I'm not sure if you're ready for what's about to happen, but here we come, Rock the Unity, kindness is free. Thank you very much indeed, Herbert Lang. That's brilliant. Bye for now.